What's up guys, today we are kicking off a new project. Um, what we'll be working on is this uh, blog post website that I've already showed you how to build and how to implement animations on scroll events. Um, and we'll be taking this website and building a mobile version of it, which is going to look like something like this, uh, meaning we'll have everything scaled down and we'll um, make everything fit on a mobile screen. Um, the way we're going to do this is by implementing a um, specific uh, CSS style sheet that's only going to be loaded um, when you're on mobile and I'm going to show you how to do this. Um, and yeah, let's get started. It's actually not that difficult. I'm just going to show you. So our setup is um, the same as we used um, or it's identical to the blog post uh, website so you can grab that from uh, github uh, we have a css um, folder with our style.css and a mobile.css which is compiled from our uh, mobile.sas i'm using codekit for that uh, we have our javascript file and a image folder but we're not going to mess with those today and our index.html uh, in our index.html, there's one thing we need to do. Of course, we need to style a, or a link to our uh, mobile.css, the way we're going to do this, and this is all the magic that we need. Um, we're going to use a um, certain property for this link, so it's only going to be loaded when our screen is a certain width, meaning when we're on mobile. So the way we do this is we write a link style sheet href um, that's all going to be the same we'll have to change that into mobile there will be a normal link in this case what we want to do is um, write media and this is basically identical to a media query in css only that we use it to load in a CSS file itself. So what we're writing is only screen to look for the screen width. And um, what we'll do is write a minimum width that has to be fulfilled. Um, we can just use 50 pixels. That value doesn't really matter too much. And another aspect would be the max width. And we can use 800 pixels here. Um, so what this is doing basically is telling our HTML to only load in the style sheet when the screen is um, at a minimum of 50 pixels or, or um, if it goes up to um, 800 pixels for the maximum. Um, otherwise, the style sheet will not be loaded in and we won't have any mobile styles. Um, let me just check if this works. Let me demonstrate how this is going to work. So in our mobile.sas, we'll simply write background color red for everything. Um, so we can check whether this is working. Um, let's go on inspect and there we go. Uh, everything turned red. Now, if we were to scale that up again, you can see that things are going back to white. So this is the point. This is 800 pixels width. Um, where our CSS style sheet is loaded in and we cannot go below 50 pixels but that's okay it's definitely working let's use iPhone 7 size that's okay and then what we're going to do is um, basically start um, writing our styles so everything fits onto this mobile um, screen size so first thing we're going to need to do is remove this, of course. And um, let's start off by um, removing elements that we do not need. So what we do not need is the sidebar um, because we cannot use it on mobile and also the search icon. Um, the search icon, I could imagine it being implemented inside of the hamburger menu when you click it. Um, so we can hide those, pretty simple dot sidebar and dot search are the classes and we're simply going to say display uh, none and that doesn't seem to work right oh it does okay awesome um 
So next thing we need to do is if we look at our um, normal style sheet, we can see that we have um, body display flex and flex direction row. That's because on the, just let me just pull that up again. Yeah, because here we do have a row of a sidebar and then the image and then the article itself. Um, we obviously want to change that. We do not have the sidebar anymore and we want to have the image and the article below each other. So what we're going to do is um, say body display block. This makes, um, this makes sure that everything is below each other and not next to each other anymore. Um, all right, next thing we need to do is um, change something in our HTML. So because we have removed um, our sidebar, uh, we do not have access to the hamburger menu and this little indicator or logo or whatever you want to call it. Um, so we need to create a new HTML element to include this. Um, what we'll do is um, simply write um, dot mobile header and we will include the indicator. So copy that in there and the hamburger. So copy that in there as well. There we go. Um, let's see what this looks like. Looks like, um, there we go. We have them there. Um, now let's style the mobile header so it's positioned correctly. Um, we need a height of 80 pixels. We need a width of 100 viewpoint width units so it stretches um, across the whole width of the device. Um, let's say display flex. Uh, flex direction will be row because the indicator and the hamburger menu are next to each other. Justify content will be space between, so they are on um, on two different sides, basically spaced out like that. Align items center to align them um, horizontally or vertically. Vertically, I think. Um, and we need some padding on the left and the right side, so we'll say zero. Boy, this basically gives a padding of 0 to the top and bottom and 40 to the left and right. Um, let's check this out. Um, doesn't seem to be working. Um, let's see what's going on. High 80 pixels, one of the display flex. Oh, wrong selector there. Dot mobile header. Yep. That's looking good to me, actually. All right. Um, let's um, go ahead with the image. We now want the image to be below that mobile header. So what we'll do is say um, dot image. The width will be, um, again, 100 viewport width units. The height can be something like 200 pixels. Um, the Okay, that's it for now. Let's see what this is looking like. There we go, there's our image. Good. One thing we need to change is the background position because obviously we want to see the face of the guy. <laughs> so what we do is background, um, background position. And we can use um, percentage values here for the X and Y. 17% and 17% is something that worked. Um, and we'll give it some margin bottom um, to space things out a little more. Oh, all right, yeah, it's looking good. Um, next thing we need to take care of is, um, no, actually not there. Um, we need to take care of our article. Um, so first thing we're gonna do is say dot article because that's the wrapper of everything i think uh yeah there you can see it it's the wrapper so what we'll need to do is assign a width to it again that's already looking much better so there are only a small few things we need to fix up there 
Actually, this is going to be a really short video. <laughs> um, so next thing we need to do is maybe take care of those headlines. Um, so what we'll do is uh, write headline wrapper. And um, first of all, this needs a height of, let's say 100 pixels. Um, and yeah, there we go. And then we need um, to style the H1 there and the H2 as well. The H3 is this little lifestyle text. This is actually looking good, I think. So what we'll need to change here is the font size, let's say 22 pixels. Um, we need to assign a max width. So um, um, we, we have the line break at the correct place. 280 pixels works there. Um, line height needs to be changed as well because we're changing the font size. And let's say letter spacing should only be one pixel. There we go, that's looking really good. Um, mm, next thing will be font size for the H2. Let's say 15 pixels in this case, a little smaller. Line height will be um, 23 pixels then. Um, text align has to be changed to center, obviously. And again, we need a max width of 250 pixels. That's looking good to me. Um, so next thing we need to do is change um, some stuff about our paragraphs here. So first of all, let's take a look at the wrapper, text wrapper is what we're looking at, and change it to, um, actually no, let's do text wrapper and the paragraphs inside of it. So. Um, what we need to change is, first of all, the font size to 13 pixels. Um, then as well, the line height again to 23 pixels. Um, margin bottom should be lowered a little bit to 15 pixels. So we do not have such a big gap between each paragraph anymore. Um, text align could be changed to justify and we need them um, to have a different width. Um, the way we're gonna do this is say text wrapper, padding should be zero and then 40 pixels on the left and right. So we're reducing the padding that had, had been assigned before. And we should probably also give this wrapper a margin top of 55 pixels, um, just so we can space those out a little more and um all right all right that's looking good to me um last thing we probably need need to change is um the first letter that is written quite big still compared to the text um we want to adjust that a little so the selector for that would be dot first child so we're looking at the first child of um, of the text wrapper that is a paragraph. Um, so if we look at this, we are looking at this paragraph right now and it's this W that we want to change. So what we'll do is dot first child dot first letter. That's the selector for that. And the only thing we want to change here is font size to 45 pixels. Um, there we go. Um, line height will also be reduced a little to 40 pixels. Yep, that's looking good to me. And we need to adjust the padding a little. Um, this is really just minor stuff, eight pixels and zero, zero. Um, this is just to align them a little more nicely. Um, <laughs> I think at that point we're already done. Um, let's take a look at this again. Awesome, looking good. And now, um, yeah, it's actually also quite responsive. I mean, if you look at different um, sizes, smaller sizes, even on an iPhone 5, which is tiny, um, this would work out. Yeah, it's looking pretty good to me. Um, 
now if we were to scale this up again boom we're changing back oh actually one thing that we missed out on is removing these two elements from the desktop side um, so what we need to do is go into our style.css which is for the desktop say dot mobile header mobile header and display none because obviously we do not want it to be displayed on on the desktop uh, refresh that why is it not working um maybe let's take a look uh, yeah code kit is not working let's see mm, needs to compile it in there yeah there we go works Awesome, so we are going from desktop into mobile and back again. Um, everything is working, that's nice. Um, and that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, uh, if you did leave a thumbs up and um, subscribe and comment if you have any questions or want to see a certain project, um, I'll make sure to cover that. And well, I'd say until next time, bye.